Now let us all continue to know the stories of our remaining mutya. Let's take a look at this. I came from a poor family. I am a music lover, a papa's girl, but at the same time, I idolize my mother because she is brave and strong woman. I am independent, full of faith and hope. I handle my problems on my own. Having an OFW mother is not easy, but I know God has his reason for everything this is happening to us. When my mother was still working abroad, we need to do things on our own. I feel that I am blessed and lucky enough to experience my personal challenges in life because they help me to grow more responsible and mature. I know that someday I can repay all those efforts my parents did for us. I decided to join Mutia ng Banisilan 2021 because I want to grow more. I want to challenge myself to go out from my comfort zone to become a better person. I want to become a role model for the youth of Banisilan to influence them that by embracing their imperfection, they can start improve and be better and be the best version of themselves. We know we have a different types of skin color in this world. Skin color that are much very big deal to everyone. Since time immemorial, we always perceive white skin as beautiful and superior, while brown and black skin as not beautiful and inferior. Since I was a kid, I always get bullied by my classmates. It is because of my skin color. I have brown skin, or fondly called as morena. Because of that, I started to fix myself and always put lotion to my skin and always keep telling myself that I am proud of my skin and embrace my flaws. I have my family to support and love me for who I am. And now I want them to realize that the person they judge is the person who is brave, strong, and independent woman. Behind my achievements and accomplishments, there are a lot of unfavorable experiences I have suffered. Pressures, struggles, and disappointments. A lot of people keep on idolizing me because of these achievements. But honestly, I don't believe in my capacity. All negativities already ate my system from the very beginning. I can't. These two words keep ringing on my mind every time I had a competition. I was lost when my father passed away and it felt like my life was a roller coaster that went upside down. I don't know what to do and I, there are times that I ask myself that why these situations are happening to me. Then, one day, I realized that these struggles made me of who I am now. I became strong and matured. I am more eager to conquer all of the challenges life has to offer. I know that I am not alone in this journey of mine. I have my family that always supports and motivates me. I have my Tatai in heaven who will guide me along the way. From now on, I will embrace pressures, struggles, and disappointments. I am throwing all my aspirations and hopes to the universe. I am claiming to be a certified public accountant and to be the next Mutia ng Banisilan 2021. I am back. I am a woman born with strong love and passion in the world of pageantry. During my teenage years, I had the peak of my pageant career. I had the opportunity to win various beauty pageant titles. All those battles, win or lose, are worthy enough for me to take more confidence in pageantry and love it more. However, at the young age of 20, I started teaching to prioritize the financial needs of my family. So I decided to temporarily stop doing my passion to join beauty pageants. My life is more of being sacrificial as the eldest among the four siblings, and that made me of who I am now. A leader, a strong and independent woman. A lot of breakdowns and misdirection happened in my life, 
but I continued to ask for guidance from the Almighty Father. Self-doubt lingered my mind many times, but I continued to overcome it. And now, I am back to reach one of my biggest dreams, to be the next Mutya ng Banisilan, and to continue to be an advocate of education and to empower more young women to embrace their imperfection and accept their authentic selves, to be a symbol of hope for the community. I was once a victim of bullying because of my body. When I was in elementary and high school, I was called by my classmates as Baboy. Whenever I pass by into some students, I can hear them laughing and teasing me. It made me feel embarrassed. I felt disrespected as a human being. I was a victim of bullying and of body shaming. When that happened, I lost my confidence and I feel a lot of insecurities. I always dream of becoming a beauty queen, but I don't have the urge to join because I feel uncomfortable with my body. But through the motivation and love of my family and friends, I learned how to accept my physical appearance and had the strength to make my dream a reality. I was being pulled down by the people who doesn't know my worth, but I've become stronger because of them. I learned how to love myself and accept my imperfection and make it as an inspiration to feel comfortable with my body again. Now, here I am, trying to fight not only for the crown, but also for the opportunity to influence the youth of my generation that are still conscious with their body. You should not feel ashamed of how you look. Instead, focus your strength to improve yourself more. Be happy, be contented, be proud, and say no to body shaming.